Friends, it is Teresa here from True Life. I'm a teacher, and today we are talking about how to add a video to a Google slide. It's super, super simple. You're going to be like, oh, that's so easy. I definitely can do that. Um, it is not too techy. I definitely am not, I don't consider myself a super techy person. I just can figure things out. <laughs> so uh, let's get started. So you're going to start. You have two options. You can just go to regular old google.com, click on this grid over here, and scroll down until you find the slide option. And if you click on that, Google Slides will open. The other option, and this is the one that I tend to use most, is I just type in slides.google.com. This works for classroom.google.com, docs.google.com, forms google.com they were very very smart <laughs> when they decided how they were going to get all of this done and lots of other options too so um slides will come even though it says docs.google.com it really is um they are the slides and we know that with this um symbol here um i didn't really mean to click on it if a slide you realize is not what you want, you can always just, again, didn't mean to click on that. Choose the hamburger menu and you'll see some other options over here. Down here is this lovely plus sign. Um, you can either create a new presentation or you can choose a template. I always just go for create a new presentation. Um, when you open it up, um, if you're not familiar with Google Slides, a couple of things. Um, one is that it is going, at least mine does, and I haven't figured out figured out a workaround around this, is the default slide presentation is widescreen. I really, really don't love that. I prefer a standard um, page setup. So if you go to File, Page Setup, you can enter custom dimensions if you'd like. I just choose standard. Probably just a personal preference. And there are definitely times in which using a widescreen is preferred. But for me, this isn't one of them. You also have the option to change the theme over here. So um, I sort of subscribe to the less is more theory and especially for students, I really just prefer a blank slide, but you can, um, you know, you can mess around with different themes if you would like. Um, much like Google Classroom, everything is undoable. So don't be afraid to play around and if you mess up, delete it and start over or just command Z and keep command Zing, which is undo um, until you get it back to how you wanted it. Um, I am going to select all, which you can either use for me. It's it's either for me on a Mac, it's Command A. For you, if you're on a PC, it's Control A. But um, you can also just highlight, select, delete this button up here, insert. You have all of these options here that you can insert and really they all work fairly similarly in terms of just the steps that you're going to go through. Obviously we're talking about video, so I am going to choose video. Now, a couple of options for you. One, if you know that you want a cuckoo, it's gonna autocorrect. You want coo, not two. Cuckoo. <laughs> if you know that you want a cuckoo kangaroo video, you can just type in the name of something. Also, if you're teaching a concept, like if you're teaching time, we're going to put in teaching time. Of course, you would want to watch these before you just send them off to your students, but it's a great way to, um, like you can watch them within your Google slide and decide if you want to keep it or not. I'm going to go back to this cuckoo kangaroo because I know that 
it's safe. I haven't watched any of those time videos to know if there's anything sketchy on them. Um, oh, my students love milkshake. So I'm going, you can either like double click here or you can choose it and kind of behind my face there is this blue button that says select. The select button has not been wanting to work today. So I'm just going to double click. And now you have some options. One option and probably something that you would want to do is resize this to be about the size of your whole slide. Then another option that you have, so two things that I find most helpful are, one, if you find a clip but you only want to play a portion of that video, you can actually adjust the time here. So you would have to watch it and then pause it, write down the time, play it, and write down the end time so that you know what to enter here. Not a big deal though, you could totally do that. Um, another option that you might want is to autoplay when presenting. This just means when you check this box, this means that when it is presenting, they won't have to press a play button. So when they get to this slide, it will automatically start playing. I just think it's a personal preference. It doesn't matter if it's clicked or unclicked. Um, so that's one way that you can insert a video. Oops. See? Mistake and fixed. No big deal. Another way that you can insert a video is if you have a specific URL. So here was a video that I recorded a couple of days ago about how to change the header um, in within your Google Classroom. And so I could put that link there. Again, the select button has not been wanting to work. Um, so we just enter. <laughs> There's always a workaround, right? Again, I can adjust that to whatever size I want. Um, and then the next option you have to insert a video is to actually insert a video from your computer. Now, the thing of this is that it has to be a video that it can't just be saved to your computer. You need to upload it to Google Drive beforehand, which is very simple. Um, if you're in your Google Drive, which again is just drive.google.com, you click New, you're gonna upload a file and then you can choose, um, like here was adjusting stream and notification settings in Google Classroom. So I just choose that. It will upload. It is going to take a little bit longer than just a file or a picture because it's a video. And it does have to process for a few minutes afterwards. But I mean, we're talking like typically less than five minutes probably. Um, I already have a video here that I uploaded ahead of time so that you wouldn't have to wait on all of that processing nonsense. Um, again, you can either double click or select and then select again. The select button isn't working, so I'm going to double click. <laughs> um, and so here it is directly from my Google Drive. So three options, they all work the end result is all the same. It's just a matter of how you are getting it um, inserted into your presentation. One thing that I do recommend doing is before you save it, share it, whatever it, I always test out that present button. And so you'll see here, we did not click to have this autoplay. So right now, if we were going through this presentation, the videos are all there. They are not going to start playing automatically. Your, whoever's watching this is going to select play on their own. <coughs> um, 
and then to get out of this presentation mode you can either select exit here or just press your escape button and there you go that's how you would insert a video into a Google slide presentation I hope you found this video helpful and happy teaching